the Zohar and the mystics write that there are seven types of souls correspond to the seven branches on the menorah, on the candelabra. And these, this goes down to a breakdown of the mystical structure called the seven spherot, spheres, seven emotions. Chesed, Gevura, in Hebrew, Teferet, Netzach, Chod, Yesod, and Malchut. And I'll translate. There are souls that are connected to Chesed. Now all souls have all the dimensions, but nevertheless the focus, the main pri their priority. Chesed is love. Love and kindness. Then there are souls that are connected to Gvura, which is the antithesis of love and kindness, more discipline, structure, law and order, channeling. Then there are souls connected to the third branch of the menorah called Teferit, beauty, compassion. Then the fourth is endurance and ambition. The fifth is humility. The sixth is bonding. And the seventh is dignity. Now, as I said, all souls have all seven. But, there's, but souls, if you want to understand a soul in its purest form, you can identify souls that which branch they're mostly connected with. Now this, of course, gets much more complicated. It's not as simple because you have billions of people on this planet. They're not all only seven categories. So there's a lot of interaction of how these seven interact with each other. And they all complement each other. But I have to say one major disclaimer. This is about how the soul is in its purest quintessential form, not who we think we are. Most people are not living their lives according to who their real, what their real destiny is like. So imagine you're a soul of chesed and you're living your life completely in a different place. You're not even aware of it. So that's like living a place that's not really you. It's like many people have talents, but they're not using them. So the talent is in there and they're busy doing other things. In the Kabbalah, there's a lot of discussion of how one identifies souls. I just gave you one general on the seven structure of seven because there are also levels of souls souls that are more um, more more transcendent in nature there are people who are more spiritual in nature and are less distract distracted by the material elements of life and there are people who have to struggle with the material elements these are also two different types of soul